What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are doing another modern cube draft, only this time you guys are going to draft. It is the first reward tier for the donation goal. Um, I'm going to say stop in the chat when we've done when we've selected something. Uh, after that, please stop mentioning cards from this pack. But uh, I am going to add up one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I am going to add up the. Um, the choices and we'll figure out which answer do you take whatever has the most representation so i'm going to try to be as accurate as i can if you guys say worm coil engine six times if you guys say you know serum visions 12 times i will go with the, the card that has the most votes I got four so far. Pilgrim, Clothis, three for Clothis, and I will try to let the I'll, I'll try to let it go for as long as I can. Massacre, Clothis. All right, you guys are all voting for Clothis. I also like Clothis here, so I'm gonna take the Clothis. And I'm not gonna put it in my sideboard. Okay. Clothis, Clothis. Okay, this is the Teamer Triome. Just to be clear. In case you guys weren't sure. This is Umbrella Rights. Triome, Triome, Triome. Triland. Uh, I think that's probably going to be the winner. Triome for me, dog. That's a Triome for me, dog. Sounds good. I don't even know who TSG is. The Scarab God? Lots of choices. Lots of choices. What's it going to be? Are we going Teamer again, guys? Because we've had some sweet decks. Crazes. Baby back. I feel like we're just playing the same deck. Yeah, me too, but the deck was sweet and it was good. And <coughs> Spark double, spark double. Crisis, Crisis, Crisis. Four Crisis, two Spark Double. Let's go with Crisis here. All right. Null Hide, Ferox. Wow, you are being a, a you are that's that's a you're a maniac. Triumph. This is this is a this is an Abzan Triumph. So it literally doesn't go with our deck at all. Four for warp so far. Five for warp. Okay. Yeah, I like I like time warp a lot here too, actually. So do 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 do. This is a this is the Sultai Triome. I actually said time warped. That's true. That's true. <coughs> if you want my opinion, I think Misty is better than the Triome here. Misty, 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 Misty. Yeah, okay, so Misty. Good good call, guys. Good call. I'm proud of y'all. I also, I'm pretty sure... Oh, shit. <laughs> it's like perfect. I'm pretty sure the Huntmaster's going to table. Euro, 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 Euro. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Creators on the claws. And just so you guys know, we are doing a charity stream for Gamers Outreach. Gamers Outreach is an awesome cause. Uh, they were started as a group of high schoolers with a passion for playing video games after volunteering at the local hospital. They realized that there were specific ways games could help children cope with long-term visits. They've evolved into a community of gaming enthusiasts eager to make a difference for kids in hospitals everywhere. Jade Light looks like what you're what you're leaning toward here. A couple of Niv, couple of Niv fanatics, but I, I feel like the J Light Ranger is really, really coming through there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> yeah, Filk Money, what up, buddy? Good, good morning, from Japan. Good morning from Colorado. 
Dragon Daddy, Dragon Big Daddy, Atarka, Atarka, Atarka. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna assume. <clears throat> That daddy is a she. That's true. That's true. The only male dragons are the blue dragons. Ojitai and Silumgar. A little magic trivia there. Atarka, Dramoka, and uh, Kolagon are all female. Nissa, 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 Pia Pia. Alright, so Nissa's... Nissa. I had no idea. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna... I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be offended. Because they don't exist. I'm in the draft with you right now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, you are. That's wild. 15 second, guys. Braska, Brass. City, click, click. Two for click, two for city. Three for click. Three, four, for click. Okay. <clears throat> As the time gets lower, I feel like I do have to step in and make some more executive decisions if you guys aren't coming quick. One for Ral, Ral. <clears throat> Dreadvor, Ral. Ferox, Ral. I like this Ral, actually. I think this Ral's pretty good, so. I'm fine with that choice. Well, unfortunately, we didn't actually see any two drops, so it's not like a situation where we're, like, not taking two drops. Night, Autumn, Night. Your mom, Knight. Okay. My mom. I'm going to assume it's Huntmaster here. Hunt. Hunt. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, look, CTB with the trolling. I'm going to executively pick this Raging Ravine because it's too good not to. And then we got to find. All right. <coughs> I'm also pretty sure you guys would have picked it as well. Wow, how many decks can we have that have Karanos and Clothis? Let's find out. Okay. You guys are up. Terror. I voted for Al the first time he came around. Okay, you don't have to brag. Tree Speaker? I don't think this is a Tree Speaker deck. Karanos, Karanos. Karanos for the memes? Yeah. <clears throat> So, like, the thing is, we have a bunch of three drops, and Draga Tree Speaker doesn't help us cast three drops. It helps us cast five drops on turn three. Karanos, then. Meyer. Eh. One, two. Yeah. Draga Tree Speaker seems like a weird pick here, but, I mean, you guys are drafting, so. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five versus one, two, three, four. Is that correct? One. I say terror. Terror only has three. Yeah, okay. So actually, that's one fewer tree speakers. Okay, cool. You guys are awesome. I love it. Like, if we had... So, so you're going to play Draga Tree Speaker on turn one. You're going to pump it on turn two. And then on turn three, you're actually going to be able to activate it for three mana. Which is great. But it it gets you to five. Uh, carry added, carry added, carry added, carry added. Sylvan Search. Carry added, carry added image. Yeah, I don't think it's close here. <laughs> I don't think it's clo clo close this here. <coughs> John Carotid? I don't even know who that is. Arbor Elf. Search for tomorrow. That's from the previous pack. Gotta keep up here. So we got Arbor Elf. One for Arbor, one for Thassa. <clears throat> Two for Arbor. Wolfhaven. I'm really breaking the mold here. Elf. Elf is in the lead. Elf is in the lead. Elf is in every every elf and Elvia Haven get canceled out. So, okay, we're gonna take Elf here. Do you guys say Elf? Are we taking Elf? This is our beautiful curve right now. It's actually not terrible. Uh, 
I think it's Druid as well. Druid, Druid, Mystic Snake, Druid, two for Plow. Druid's still winning by three, four, five, six. Yeah, nothing else has six. Druid is way far ahead. I feel like we're just playing the same decks. And, like, because these decks are super sweet, I'm actually kind of okay with it. Like, it's not only that, like, even though we've lost in the in the finals, like, it's still fine because these decks have just, like, had so much interaction and so much so many cool cards. <coughs> what up, Dobby? Uh, you guys... Uh, sour... Confluence, Hydra, Sower, Sower... Sour. <laughs> Lotus Lotus. Ugh, no idea. <laughs> Sour has one, two, three, four, five. I think that's I think that's the highest. Lotus has like three, I think. Yeah. Sour Temper Templeton. <laughs> Your favorite and mine. Also, no idea, even though I voted. <laughs> I said a card, but I really have no idea. Okay, so we have <clears throat> Thraggy Boy. Are we still beating up nerds for charity? Yeah. All day. All day. Glory, glory, thrag, glory, thrag. I think it's this. One, two, three versus one, two, three. Equal, equal, equal. They're equal right now. So I, I, I'm Glory B, that, that, that's Art Mick with the tiebreaker and CTB with Glory I think it's Glory too. too. <coughs> this pack's kind of mad. <clears throat> I would also love some lands. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are you just redrafting the other deck? It does look like that, yeah. Champion, champion, champ. Yeah, it's like champion's the only card really in here. I wonder if Thassa comes back. Thassa's not super popular. We got Champ and Pierce, Duplicate, Pierce, Pierce, Duplicate. This is actually going to be tricky. Abby, I'm going to put it on Spell Pierce. Uh, one, two, three, four, versus one, two, three, four. Okay, that was, that was pretty close. That was actually hard to tell. So we had one, two, three, four, five for Pierce, and we had one, two, Two, three, four for duplicate. Okay, so Pierce was what you guys said. Temporal, Spyglass, Temporal. Even even right now, Spyglass is up one. Mirror, okay, there's still even. <laughs> okay, Temporal's up one. Temporal's up two. Temporal's up three, okay. Time walk it is. This pack is pretty bad. <coughs> I'll just say stop to make it easy so there's nice breaks. Summit, Wildwood, Land, whatever. Okay, well. <clears throat> if I have to choose... Yeah, it's even right now. Two to two. Oh, somebody said stir it up. So I was, I was incorrect. I lied. We could have taken Guardian. We don't have a way to cast it right now. I don't think anything in this pack is relevant. Crater Marker is actually fine. Yeah, Crater Marker is a playable card. Ooh, guys, we could have done it. <clears throat> we could have had the combo. We could have taken Spires, Felidar, Sahili, and had the combo. I, mean, I think it's Sensor. Yeah. 
I agree with your your two sensor votes. Sure. I mean, I'm going to assume it's Genesis Hydra here. <clears throat> Put him in the sideboard. Oh man, my favorite Soren. And the two colors that we are not. I'm gonna I'll just take Gadwick. And Sundering Titan last pick? Jeez. Alright. Gadwick and Soren. And for any ties, I'll just I'll just err on I'll just pick my favorite of the cards you mentioned. Oh my bad, I didn't know it was Chadwick. <laughs> Oh, that's my bad. Got Noble. Phoenix? Great Henge? Henge, Chandra, Noble. Noble. Chandra, Henge. Oh god, this is actually really complicated. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think Noble's... Yeah, Noble's way ahead. I also agree with Noble here. Because this is a three-mana deck where we just want to ramp into threes. Oh, what up, Music Manly? Yeah, we're doing some Twitch Plays Magic. Uh, I'm literally just tallying up the votes, and whoever has... Um, <clears throat> you guys like Mystic over Clever Impersonator? That's interesting. I think you guys are undervaluing Clever Impersonator. That copies anything. So, one, two, three, four. Four for Mystic. Two for Clever. Three for Clever. Four for... No, three for Clever. One... One, one, five to three, six to four. Okay, so I think it's still Mystic. We're always having mana problems? Not really. Oh God, now I have no idea what it is. I can't count. I can't. These are hard to count. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four. Ugh, for crying out loud, I also think Mystic might come back. So versus one, two. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna count it just to be you guys. You guys, put your votes in the chat for this one. <clears throat> Mystic one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six for Mystic. And for Impersonator, it's just going to keep scrolling down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay, that feels... Passage, Passage, Fabled, Rampant Growth. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to two. I, I probably would have taken Rampant Growth because it ramps us and this doesn't come into play untapped, but you guys are saying Fabled, so Fabled it is. <clears throat> yeah, turn four, I guess. That's a good point. This mania. Two for giant. Three for giant. Land? Oh, there's several lands in here, so that's not a good... Gorge Verdant, Gorge Verdant. Beanie Boy again. You guys are really picking the Beanie Boy here. Gorge. Giant. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Giant is winning here. <clears throat> Gorge. Gorge. One, two, three, four, five. Where's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, oh, yeah, that was it was close. But I think I think you guys aired on Beanie Boy's side. I'm just worried about the number of three drops we got here. Cannon, Denny Protector, Storm. Okay, one, one, one. Research. Kinnon's two. Den Mom is two. Research is three. Den Mom is three. 
Cannon is three. God, Jesus. <laughs> okay, multiple people are saying cannon, which I think is fine. <clears throat> I changed my vote to Gonti. Good grief. <clears throat> Lizzomania. Lantern, lantern, lantern. Not much here. Lantern. <clears throat> lantern is definitely ahead. Why are we saying Croxa here? I think he's saying you can't even spell Croxa right. <clears throat> Ooh, we just need to deal with the graveyard. You definitely don't. Yeah, we'll take Lantern. That seems good. And see, so this is why you don't take the stupid... <clears throat> we also have Eternal... Or Bloodbraid Alpha, actually pretty good. I want to put these in the sideboard because... Oh, what up, Jay, bro? Witness, 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 witness... Really over Bloodbraid Alpha. This is a very interesting... One, two, three... So, four to two. Five to... Six to two. Seven to two. Seven to three. Seven to four. Eight to four. Eight to five. Eight to six. 8 to 7, 8 to 8, 8 to 9, 10, oh yes, you guys came through. I wanted the Bloodbraid off because I think hitting any of these threes is really, really good. Whereas, like, getting the card back with, the, with Eternal Witness is fine, but... Uh, we have two Time Walks, one of them gets exiled, so that's not really an option to get back. Man, you guys are saying Inferno Titan over the Falls. I'm saying one, two, three on Falls. One, two, three on Inferno, Dad. Okay, and three for Lumbering Falls. Yeah, I agree. I agree this is Lumbering Falls. I think we have enough heavy stuff. And I definitely want to make sure we have good mana. Good mana. <clears throat> make the right choice. Yeah, Lumbering Falls, 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 Land. <laughs> Sounds good. Chicken. I like it. Beautiful chicken. One 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 better one better. Chicken again. Heavy stuff. That's a fat joke towards Inferno Titan. Phoenix, Phoenix. Yeah, it's definitely Phoenix here. Phoenix is actually really good. And we have a dragon skull summit, guys, in case you wanna in case you wanna splash fire fireless act. I think it's I would assume it's gem razor here. The only card in our colors. Yes, that is correct. Razor, Razor. We don't actually have a ton of removal, but I'm not going to splash a Heartless Act because of that. Ooh, here we go. <clears throat> See, now we're talking. When the chicken goes all the way around the table, that's called a rotisserie. See, that's hilarious. Bobby? Dang it, Bobby. Uh, Banefire, Banefire, Sinkhole, Sinkhole, Banefire, Sinkhole, Sinkhole, Sinkhole. I think Sinkhole's winning there. Oh, Copper Line Gorge came back. Yeah, and then two more for Sinkhole. Sounds good. Gorgy. <clears throat> grudge, Grudge, Gorge, 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 Gorge. Yeah, why are you guys saying Grudge? We already have... Gem Razor and like something else. Eh, none of these really matter. Rakdos Return. Sure, I'll take Inquisition and Olivia. Alright. This is 27 cards. We gotta cut down a little bit. See, we're not making the same mana as we were in the other one. The other one had Gilded Lotus, the other one had Nyssa. This is actually a very, very different deck. Uh, we can probably board in Crater Maker, but two damage to a creature is actually pretty decent. It is three mana, though. Um, <clears throat> I feel like we can cut Champion. <laughs> what did Music Manly do? I don't want to rat anyone, but Rob voted for Bob at least three times. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, Bobby. Oh boy. All of our lands are good. Oh, 
Oh, you like champion with Euro. Okay, well, there you go. I guess we'll just keep it then. Beanstalk. I feel like we have too many three drops. We have to cut some of these. I, I could take out Mastery. I'm not a huge Mastery fan. <clears throat> uh, the key was up until next Wednesday, so the, October 7th. I'm actually, I don't, I'm actually, I think, is Chromatic Lantern worse, though? I think Chromatic Lantern is actually worse. This is a threat, and it ramps us, and it, it's like, it does the same as Chromatic Lantern, only gets one land. Like, I, I think it's actually fine. To <laughs> do whatever, it's not, Kyrus, I appreciate you, buddy. I also don't like this Nissa. I'm gonna take Nissa and Chromatic Lantern out. <clears throat> do we just play 41? You guys want 41 it? He just removes her from office. <laughs> oh god. I don't think this Nissa is that great. Do we care about Arbor Elf? Yes, because both Arbor Elf and Nobaharak ramp us to, to to three, which is our our sweet number. The problem is we don't have any like we don't have breeding pool or stomping ground in order to play it, and then also play like like because we're only going to be untapping forests. Because we can't play Ketria Trium on turn, on turn one, and play Arbor Elf. Jaybro, it's just worked out like this. It's totally, it's totally unintentional. <clears throat> I mean, I'm pretty sure we're probably gonna have eight 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 with this mana base. That's my guess. It's it's much more evenly distributed than the previous deck as well, which was much heavier green. All right, so red, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, okay, we're already halfway there. Green, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Blue, we have four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight, eight, nine. Actually, even better than I suggested. I like it. <clears throat> hey, this 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 draft started with the chat voting for Clothis, so. I can't even be held responsible. Lissomania. Let's let the sea go. Long around, long around. Oh. Not easily offended. This is actually decent. We can go Copperline Gorge into Arbor Elf and then try him into Devoted Druid. Kyloclo is unstoppable, it's true. It's possible you can't lose a game. Buddy, it's always possible. The likelihood is lower, though. I'm a nudist. I hate Clovis. <laughs> you and me both, buddy. Play. Untap. Get devoted. Banner. <clears throat> This is a turn three Karanos. Don't kill my guy. Dang it. I was hoping it was Heartless Act and then I could put a counter on it. It's no longer a turn three Clothis. It's not a turn three anything. It's so much worse. Wow, that Parker Lewis can't lose reference. Holy crap, dude. Okay, still nothing here, unfortunately. But they're down to 16, so what's the worst that could happen? 
Three five drops. Why would you weaponize a good time? Wouldn't you like to know? Cool. Man, they're really... I bet their chat took Noob. <laughs> I mean, they got green. Uh, let's say black. White and red. Or they have green, white, blue, black. Like, they have all the colors. They just need one more random land. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> oh my god, give me a land so I can glory bring this Winona. That would make me feel really good about my life choices. It would also put them to six. Okay, another five drop is actually really good too. So what, five, 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 and five. That's really cool actually. I like that. I also like that they had two ways to get rid of our creatures. That produce mana. Hmm, boy. One mana. One one land there would have been would have been really good. <laughs> Make a big hole. You mean a crater? Wow, they didn't attack? <clears throat> That's interesting. And cool. Super cool. <laughs> Good times. Everything is all right. Did you mean to only run 16 lands? We're running, running 17, I'm pretty sure. Are we not running 6? Are we not running 17? I'm gonna be real... I bet it's... I bet we are running 16. And now I'm gonna feel real stupid. Why aren't they... I don't know what's going on. I mean, they have four cards, so. This guy's dead before he even hits the... Yep, of course. Sounds good, but I will definitely get a land here. Okay, now we're talking. Sixteen forty-one. That's 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 only forty, right? Because we had 24 cards, and then we we let the mana su get suggested to us, and then we just went with what they suggested, which would have put us up to 40, so we wouldn't have went 41 and 16. Oh, good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hydroid Crassus for 6. Hydroid Crassus for 4. Hydroid Crassus for 3. 2. Hydroid Crassus for 1. Okay. Did they not have a blue? Okay, so just a worse Hydroid Crassus. Got it. The funny thing is I still don't feel like we're that far behind. Uh, 
Um, one, two, three, four. We have six mana. I wish we had seven. Then we can go Time Warp and Kin and Bonder. <clears throat> Could just go Time Warp, try another land, Dragon Lord Targa. Those are nice lawnmowers, Rob. I don't even know what that means. It's like the, it's like the most one dimension it's like MS Paint lawnmower. Oh, I think we can do that because this makes this tap for one more. Yeah, let's do that. Nice. Let's do it. <laughs> Those are nice lawnmowers, Rob. A line that just went into the story I'm currently writing. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Big Tarks. Kill this lady. Alright, I don't know how we're still in this game after they've performed so admirably. I'm sure they're gonna languish here. Or they gotta have dam there's no damnation in this cube, right? There's just languish. Sure. So are of temptation. I got this guy, so. Clever impersonator. One, two. Atris. Okay. Um. I'm gonna give them the city of brass. Wait, how did that work? Wait, what? Did it tell me which pile was face down? I thought it just said pile one, pile two. Winona needs non-humans, but they didn't have a reason not to attack. I have a 2-2. Two -two. Like, I don't understand why they weren't attacking for, like, four turns. The top pile is up. Does it say that? That's weird. I was trying to hide the City of Brass so they'd be like, ooh, an upside-down spell has to be better. But... Well, that guy's pretty good. Oh, well, fascinating. I don't have any black man. I can't activate it. We can deal eight in the air, nine in the air. Can we deal four more damage? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven mana. Interesting. I mean, we could just Dragon Lord target for nine, right? Like, what if we kill both of these with the Dragon Lord? This guy comes back, so that's not great. I don't think Impersonator has a great target here. Could even activate this. Put a non-human from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library. Like, we could hit Sower. Because I think we're actually in fine shape. I think that's better than Ral. It's better than Random Karanos or Clothis. Uh, we do have seven mana, but no, we have two red. So we cannot Euro twice. 
Euro twice would be red, red, blue, 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 green, 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 one colorless mana. So we have two color, we have two colorless mana essentially. Um, put a non-human creature onto the battlefield. Okay, let's see what we hit. Champion, Rekindling Phoenix, and Vendillion Click. Hmm. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order? Sure. Um, this is actually a pretty good hit. I think Click is probably where we want to be. Let's see what we got here. Lightning Helix, Fiend Artisan, and Cultivate. Okay. I mean, the only card I care about is Lightning Helix. But not even that much, I don't think. Like, you kill this, you're going up to 16, but that's still two Atarka hits. Is there anything that you can get back that gains you life? You have zero creatures except for Winota, and I just have... I have Glorybringer, which is pretty good. But it doesn't deal with Dragonlord Atarka. Four. I mean, they have to survive for another turn to actually get Fiend Artisan and, and like, Fiend Artisan can't activate the turn it comes into play. I'll just take Lightning Helix. I mean, they're taking nine here. They're going to four. Like, I don't think Artisan is that scary. They also have one creature in their graveyard, so it's only a 2-2. Two -two, so. Instant and sorcery cards you own in exile and in the graveyard, so just one. You never know what they're gonna get. Winota instead of I guess you can do both so okay All right, windswept teeth oh we didn't even see windswept teeth so that's nice now we know about these three lands a cultivate and a fiend artisan I assume Glorbringer comes back but then like if they kill this it's real bad so Forest Mountain, Mountain is in play, so now we know we have these five and one random card. No attacks again. Man, Winota is just not attacking ever. Everything is alright. What if they don't have a land they can get with this? That'd be funny, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. So we can play both Karanos and Clothis, which actually gives us... This is in case they... I mean, like, they're going to play Glorybringer. They can kill this. 
Oh, but then they just die, right? Because they have to block this. This guy has trample. Okay. I don't know how we won this game. Do we see anything we care about the gem razor? We saw a bunch of weird removal. Assassin's Trophy, Abrupt Decay. Also, 16 lands, guys. Can you believe it? I'm going to add another forest. <laughs> yeah, that makes me feel terrible. Um, I can actually see Sensor coming in. Let's take out Crater Maker. I don't think we saw any targets for Crater Maker. It's just like a, a little dirt burgle. You won this game by reducing opponent's life total to zero. Hmm. Well then. Uh, yeah, this hand's great. Turn two, turn three, turn four. Look at it, it's just gorgeous. Well, let's do it like this instead. Oof. Um. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Because we, we, we don't want untapped blue source. So if we play this into this, we don't have anything to do on turn two, actually, because we need blue for both Euro and Bond, Kin, Bond and Kin and Bonder. So the problem is it's a great one-drop elf, but, like, not right now. If we draw another green source on turn three, we can go Euro and elf, which is pretty, pretty reasonable. Yeah, okay. The amount of mana this generated that really helped us out was pretty good. And next time we can go Euro into Raging Ravine, that's... Oh, and they missed the land drop. Well then. Well, next time we can definitely play Bloodbraid or Huntmaster, which is pretty sweet. If they don't just concede, they have not yet. That's pretty good. Uh, Rampant, Oblivion, Nicol Bolas. Yeah, your hand is terrible. I kind of just want to take Electrolyze because I think this is a good threat, but you need, like, two lands. Like, I don't want to get you closer to mana, but I also don't want you to just, like... Like, two for one, my Vendillion click Arbor Elf and draw a card, so... Oh, what up, Triome? Triome. Oh, they just conceded. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually activate this guy. We can also play Beanstalk Giant. We can also play Fertile Footsteps and Huntmaster. Dude, these teamer decks seem real good. Let's make sure we add another forest to our deck forever. Oh, did we just have the win on board? I didn't even know. I didn't even know, man.
Guys, you did very good in terms of drafting. Um, you know what? I'll give it a shot. I wonder if I wonder if uh, sensor is just better than crater maker in the main deck. <laughs> thank you, JTHD. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the donation to uh, Gamers Outreach. You are awesome, dude. It's for the wee ones in the hospital, guys. I mean, a blue source would have been great here, but we still have Bloodbird Elf for next turn, which can hit a lot of alternative blue sources. Can't play anything right now, but... Hmm. Double blue. Green. Oh, okay. Dan it, dan, dan it, dan. Brazen dan. Raisin Badawa. Okay. If I had a dollar for every time I heard Frank say he needed a blue source, you'd be rich. Blue source. Nailed it. Nailed it. Music Manly with the ten bones. Thank you guys so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Your donations today are going to Gamers Outreach, just so you know. Man, I wish we had another thing to do with our mana. That'd be great, right? Because, like, if we can go Kinnon Bonder... That's two mana. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But we really have nothing else cool to do. And we don't have another blue source yet, so. I feel like we can just Ral here. Rally around the rally. Oh, it resolved. Dun, 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 dun. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's actually Dragonlord Tarka, despite this being a uh, a blue source. I think Dragonlord just has a significantly higher win percentage. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're just going to keep this. We don't need to. Yep, you got it. Yeah, Trio doesn't kill. Triumph doesn't kill as fast. I agree with you. Oh, all right. You can attack my run. Attack my route. So the tune of Ring My Bell, in case you guys didn't know. B -b -b Bane Slayer. Shut up and take my money. Okay. Oh, Paps, thank you for the donation, but you do have to use the donation link either in the description below or in the chat. So. I'm keeping a tally of the amount I have to separately donate. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, we cannot sew it with one blue, unfortunately. Uh, Jade Light Ranger actually might be extremely relevant here to hit land drops. Oh, actually, one, two, three, four, five. We need one more card in the graveyard for this. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, I guess we could just use this, right? One, two, three, four, five, six.
I mean, it just kills the stupid angel, right? The problem is we want to do it this turn, right? This isn't going in our hand. If we play champion, it's one, two, three. We have one mana. But then, like, only one other card is possibly going in the graveyard, so we're not going to be able to use it this turn. I'm just going to graveyard it. I'm going to bottom... Oh, oh, man, we're just having a bad time here. And then I guess we're just going to play champion of wits. No, I guess Clothis is probably a little better. One blue mana away from this guy. Huh? I kind of want to hit a land here. I mean, Clothis lets us exile the Triome. Man, too bad Clothis doesn't have reach, though. I mean, if they, they have to kind of attack Ral with Baneslayer here. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, okay. So I'm pretty sure there's killing Ral and then wiping the board. No, they're not. What do we got? One. What are we doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do we need a ninth mana? No, I don't think so. I mean, this is a lot of damage. I don't think... Is Settle the Wreckage in the cube? I really don't think it is. I also have no idea what that word was, or what that noise was. Oh, I figured out what the... Yeah, all right. We'll see what happens here. They're just taking it? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Thank you. GM Miller, thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Oh, getting to uh, getting to uh, keep this until their turn means they can't untap it, which is pretty huge. Okay, wow, we're just winning, winning and and binning. Crater Maker does kill um their stupid brazen borrower, but is that good enough? I don't even know, man. Hey, you guys know Mario Brothers? Hey, it's the Mario. I kind of like Sensor and I kind of like Spell Pierce, to be honest. GM Miller, thank you for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. And we're going to take out Crater, Mac Crater Macad. Um, what are we adding? Ooh it does kill Ugin if they have it, that's true. 
Or Karn. You know, any of those guys. Any of those big idiots. I kind of maybe take out Arbor Elf. Okay. It's fine. Hmm. I'll risk it for the biscuit. I hadn't I didn't play Fable Passage because I don't know if I want a blue or a red. But this is nice because it should help us get the second of whatever we're missing. Walking ballista for one. Interesting. I think we just want a blue here. Uh, we want to. We want. We have double blue, so. Hellion incoming. Oh, not Hellion. Oh wow. Nailed it. No attack? Interesting. What could I have done there? You got it. I mean, they have no choice. They have to go for it, right? Should we have played Crassus for one? Was that the play? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Just like... Yeah, I just didn't even consider it. It happens. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking about the Crater Maker, but I'm just like, it feels so narrow. I'll take out Spell Pierce. Good morning. Snap it off. A triome, right? Let's get a triome. Master Resolving feels nice. I 
I mean, like, I'll take a champion of wits here for sure. Oh, that's nice. This guy gets to flip. Hunter Master. Hmm. See, ordinarily I'd be like, maybe I could just hold Crater Maker to flip my Hunt Master back. But the fact is, I want to be able to activate Lumbering Falls and just keep putting pressure on the board. They're at 12. This is 11 damage here. Like, that's pretty good. All right, that was anticlimactic round three. Uh, or game three, rather. Oh, Mossy Beard, welcome back. I also brought some juice with me. So I wouldn't have to get up and refill my drink. I got I got the remainder of this mango nectar. Made with Alfonso mangoes. Went to college with Alfonso mangoes. Boy, that guy was wild, let me tell you. And then I looked at the back and it was like... 20% juice, and I was like, are you serious? Are you for real right now? How much do we have in unaccounted for donations? What do you mean? The ones that the ones that were sent directly to me? Uh, I'll play first. I will mulligan this hand. I will keep this hand. Uh, 60 currently. When should I first teach my sons to cube? I, I I don't know why you haven't already. Oh, we both went to six. Yeah, snap it off. One, two, three, four. I'll definitely get rid of a second green because, I mean, turn three Clothis. Both of these require double blue, double red, so... <laughs> Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> All aboard the Rat Train, my dudes. Oh, nobly. See, that was good. Now we get a Phoenix or a Clothis next turn. Disfigure. No disfigure, huh? Okay. Yeah, I like the Triumphs a lot. I think they're great. Dang. That is messed up. Send them on down to Rat Train City. Okay, I guess I'll make you take a one. Play this close with this. Suck that rat. <laughs> See, that doesn't sound good at all. Don't be saying suck that rat. Liliana, huh? No cards in any graveyards, unfortunately. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, we're having a grand old time. Hmm. Like I said, guys, it always happens in the third round. Never fails. Um, tempted to just play Crassus? I don't even... It's not... No. No.
This is indeed a good revoker. No, sir, I don't like it. No, don't like that. Oh, uh, no blocks. Okie dokie. I mean, maybe I should have blocked, actually, because this guy's not doing anything, and, like, we get a card out of Clothis. I mean, it's not like... We can't ramp with it, but... Super Fritz! Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate you. Gamers Outreach appreciates you. Like, this guy's just never going to do anything, right? But at least we get two points back. So. Our whole lives have come to this moment, and it was horrid. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, might as well. Um, actually... Oh, it's not even a choice. That's interesting. Nonbo with, with Clothis here. With Magmatic Sinkhole and Clothis, like... The dredge is not real. They have three cards, and they're not really doing much. Let's try to put Liliana the Veil and make a sacrifice. Ten away from Among Us? Uh, ten dollars? Oh, yeah, technically, right. Yes, technically, we would technically be ten dollars away from Among Us. Is there talking in Among Us? It's not. You're not. You don't have like headphones, and you're not talking to each other, right? Oh, good. My whole hand. Fantastic. Right during the meetings, right? But it's not like. Okay, that's interesting. Actually, I feel like we just wait on this. Like, it's not even exciting, right? Like, next turn, if we hit another land, we can do it for four, which is much, much better. Sure. Well, I feel like it's going to be more difficult to hop in a Discord call with everyone in here. Everyone on the chat doing it. I mean, the mine rod hurt our soul for sure. Seems about right. Uh, let's get rid of Jade Light Ranger. Do I just give it one more turn? That's the question. Because I don't think they can really even attack profitably here. They might actually forget that. Well, it's 10 people in a game and there's no in-game voice. Right, I know, but I'm saying, like, you can still type, right? Like, it's still chat-based. Did they forget about this? Okie dokie. I guess not.
La 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 la. One, two, three, four, five. S do we play land? One, two, three, four, five. So, f if, okay. Yeah, I mean, four, four is pretty decent. This guy's also pretty good. They're gonna just kill it? Okay. Surprised we're in this game as much as we are, but. Thank you. Oh, Hat Mike with a $10 additional. Nice. Appreciate it, my dude. Okay, that seems good. Just nug me for five. Activate Erebos, put me to four. Man, a land in my graveyard would be so so bomb right now. Yeah. And that's the end. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we knew this was going to happen when we drafted, right? Like, we knew round three was going to come and we were just going to lose. So. Man, this mango juice is delicious. We'll keep this. Try them again. <sighs> Must be. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, yeah, I do have a voice channel on my Discord, but not everyone here is on my Discord, so it just seems really complicated to get ten people to play and then get all those people to be in the Discord. Like, that seems like a whole. It, it seems like kind of a to do. Yeah, the Alfonso Rubi Rubiero mangoes are the best, man. They have a real Tom Jones flavor. Those aren't really that unusual. Yeah, match three is always predetermined. I don't know. It feels almost... It feels kind of weird, to be honest with you. What do you name? Sylvan carry added, sure. It's not unusual to see me draw. Tell your opponents they're ruining the charity. I'm doing a charity stream and you're ruining it. That's fine. I don't even care about that thing. As long as they don't counter this, we're good. I 
It seems good. As long as they don't brazen bar a bouncer, we're good. Okay. I also thought they were. It's not unusual to see my cry. Is Michael B. Boo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to kill your noble hire. And they didn't. What's happening right now? Phenomenal. Fantastic. Uh, champion of wits it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. <laughs> well, this guy can still block. Keep the island, I guess. Just get rid of the other lands. It's not unusual to see me cry. Oh yeah, Michael was was losing it after that spicy gummy bear. Kill my four four. Did you just kill my four four. Eventually, we're gonna draw spells with Karenos and shoot things. But actually, I'm just gonna go face here. You know, for obvious reasons. Four and one, sure. Don't turn around. Oh. Shieldred Mind Shatter Gray Merchant. Let's get rid of Scrabble. Mind shatter us for three here, which means we probably should have kept. Actually, maybe we just clever impersonator copy this, get rid of mind shatter. Because otherwise, we just rip our hand apart. Shieldered Mind Shatter Gray Merchant. I have no reason not to play this, so. I mean, if they can languish, that's fine. We still get to keep an 8 8 and a Karanos. Like, I don't think that's a real big deal. Okay, well, that's good. You're welcome. 
Hey! <laughs> yeah! That's the stuff. That's the juice. I'll do it for one less just to get a Raging Ravine out. It's not unusual to gain full life and play a 9-9. Nine -nine. This is it? You're still dead. That's interesting. What do you get when on enough? Um Yeah, I mean, we're still alive. We are alive and in charge, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, they'll, maybe he'll forget to kill me. Um, I think we're good. On the draw, huh? Turn to Noble. We also have this guy, this guy. <clears throat> you know what, man? I accept if we lose, it's my fault this time. I accept it. We have two turns to hit a land. Okay, well, they're going to take Noble Hierarch, I imagine. Still two turns to hit a land. I think Clothes is actually hardest to deal with. <clears throat> it's a totally greedy keep. I, I I accept that it is a completely greedy keep. Okay. Well, another five drop. <laughs> like I said, we brought it on ourselves. No one to blame. Except for ourselves. Okay. Well, we tried. We didn't really try, I guess. We, we tried to risk it, I guess, is what happened, but... Sure. Two lands. Yep. Alright. And that's the end. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. <sighs> Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankpoormanitraders.com. Thank you guys for all the support for uh for gamers outreach. And uh, check out nordvpn.org slash Frank It's 68% off in a free month for a two-year sub. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.